Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to another tutorial. As you can tell by the background, yes, we're back in Crash Landing. Um, but this will pretty much work for most anything that you're using Steve's Factory Manager with. And what I want to do is show you an easy way to manage your auto spawner. Now, um, I'm not going to give you a big build because it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Now in here we have a 5x5 five five, which is the crush zone for the grinder and um, we have uh, Steve's factory manager inventory cable going all the way up to the spawner which is right here. Now I use the inventory cable to go up right there because um, if you put the an energy cell or uh, a conduit it won't be a solid block and could cause well it's only going to cause spawning problems for natural spawns um, you can do pretty much whatever you want but um, I like the solid blocks so they don't spawn on it uh, makes it better for spawning um, let's see here close that back up um, you'll need a redstone receiver for a button a couple storage tanks for um, mob essence to move the mob essence around as well um, uh, a chest I keep a chest for um, the drops and then you can move those drops anywhere you want but it's easier to uh, depending on the speed of the spawner or the um, the grinder at the time will depend on how quickly the drops come out and you don't want to it's kind of a buffer before it hits your <clears throat> main storage inventory and then you have a chest dedicated to safari nets now as part of the code um, you've got one section that's taking the mob essence from your um, grinder and putting it into storage then you have another uh, liquid input that's taking from the storage and putting it into your spawner. Um, the third one is sending your from the chest and what you're going to do is on the target location you're going to want to put pick a slot this is the last slot so the slots in a chest go from zero to whatever the last slot is a normal chest is 27 slots so that's zero to 26 so this slot right here I can put this in here and I won't it won't send it because I actually have it set to spawners but if I set a spawner there it sends it over to the auto spawner and then it's going to continue to try to spawn it now over here we have a redstone receiver trigger now what that's going to do is on a high pulse it's going to pull from the spawner and put it into your chest so as you can see here we're picking up stuff and then here there's a two other there's a spider and a skeleton in here and we just hit that button now our safari nets back in our chest and we can just go through oh hey I want some skeletons now and it'll send the skeleton uh, spawner over. Now you can make this extremely elaborate as far as saying um, I know that the skeleton spawner is in slot zero so if my bones get below a certain level I want you to send this safari net over to the auto spawner and if this slot is empty then um, I'm waiting for the bones to reach a certain level to pull the spawner out. Um, you could definitely get extremely complicated and um, robust as far as uh, basing all your inventory outputs on um, which spawner you want or which uh, mob you want to spawn. I figured this is a simple, pretty straightforward um, configuration. Um, really easy to set up as you can see you just need an energy input to the spawner you need a place for the mobs to spawn a grinder to kill all the mobs a place to store the oh geez oh no go away 
And for that, um, yeah. <laughs> Turn that off. Holy cow. Um, so be sure when you set your auto spawner up. So with a spawner, it is just like a normal spawner. So it's going to be um, an, it's an 8x8 eight eight with the 4 being um, uh, directions 1 and 2. Um, I usually just do a 9x9 nine because nine it's a lot easier. Um, it's more symmetrical. And then it's going to be one up and one down. So these are all valid spawn points down here. Now, if the mobs are two blocks high, they're not going to spawn here. Uh, another thing you may want to do is drop them from the top instead of from the bottom. And then um, that way you have more spawn area. And then each time it ticks, it's going to have a better chance of spawning a mob because there's a lot more spawn space. But then you'll have to deal with um, aligning the grinder so they hit everything. But yeah, that's up to you. You can do whatever you want. Um, but I thought I'd throw this out there, make things easier as far as setting up a mob spawner. And I hope you enjoy it, and hope you have fun with it. All right, guys, take care and have a good one.